good morning vlog. So I'm gonna try to make my vlogs up to date. Hi. This is one thing I wanna talk about. Hopefully people that bought from my site uh, know. Um, one of the things about being a small business is you guys still have to remember, regardless of my followers, it's still only me doing this. I still am a small business. So like when hoodies or something take longer to be created, it's not my fault. There's nothing I can do about it. Like it stresses me out and makes me upset just as much as it upsets other people. Um, you know, if I had control over it, I would get everything out as soon as I possibly can. But when you, people just write me nasty emails and stuff like that, it's it's a lot, it's really hard for me because I am human and I'm doing my best and this is still a really big learning process. So please remember that before you comment nasty shit because people, other people will comment it too and just attack me, so. What's up hoes? Um, please don't vlog and drive, but I'm on my way to get a head tattooed, so I thought I'd make a little vlog out of it. Uh, I have my emotional support animal with me. Um, expectations before. I don't know. I hear mixed reviews about head tats. I hear that the top of your head and the back of your head hurts way more than the side of your head. I hear that your head is super fucking painful. I don't know. I hear, like, such different things. I'm doing, uh... I'm doing my mom's handwriting. It says you can do anything you put your mind to. Um, my mom has said that to me my whole entire life. I feel like what better place to put that than your head? So, uh, let's get into it and we'll see how this goes. <laughs>
Hi besties, I went to turn my hair down and I turned the video off. Um, let's talk about the head tie before I forget. Also, I hate my eyelashes look uneven. Like, I have a gap on one side and not the other, so it fucking kills me. Like, look how thick this bitch looks. Anyway, okay, overall rating. Um, the pain, it fucking hurt, but it hurt more down here than it did up here. It wasn't miserable, it wasn't my favorite. But I would do it again. So I feel like that is like a really big determination for me because um, there are some parts on me that uh, I would never touch to again and that is not one of them. So, also on another note, um, why am I like this? <laughs> oh, okay, anyway, um, this is what I like and I can't tell if I'm too scared to like him or if I'm just not ready to like him. I feel like it's the first one because I feel like for once, this is killing me. I'm actually like, I want to take some of these out so they match. I'm actually in a place in my life where I'd be okay having a boyfriend. So then what the fuck is creating this barrier for me? That's making me struggle with the idea of a fucking boyfriend. Like, what am I missing here? Something about it is really fucking me up. And I don't know what the fuck it is. But I'm like really in my head about it. And I think it's going to ruin something that could be really good for me. Does anyone else have that fucking issue? Where something really good is in your life and... uh it may get fucked up because I've been through fucking hell and back. This eyelash is so full. It's killing me. Y'all, this is like one of my biggest pet peeves. But um, yeah, that's the fucking tea. Right now I'm at Ulta to get some blush. Because, you know, we never wear makeup out here. So, and I feel like I need some blush. Also that, I'm trying to kill time. And what kills time better than fucking spending money? So... This is literally killing me. I feel like a tweak. Always touching my lash. So, fuck my life. Um, XOXO Coco! Fuck! Also, I feel like I should just not edit videos. Like, edit things out of videos and just post them like this, right? Just post them like me being cracked out and super chaotic. <sighs> and just leave it at that. Because I feel like, what the fuck is the point? If, if I want to edit it, it shouldn't come out of my mouth, right? We're going to go with that. Mm-hmm.